All right, it's Friday. Who's excited for Friday? I know I am, and we all know what that means. It's Octane Friday. Got my jacket on. Debuted that last week. As I said, I made this jacket about 20 years ago, but the jacket itself is older than that. The pins themselves, here and here, are actually original pins that I wore in high school. So we got some Billy Idol, some Pink Floyd, some Who. Yeah, those are the ones that survived from high school. So, got my uniform on for today. Uh, hope you're all doing well. Everyone loves a good Friday, right? All right, so, what's today's date? May 15th. So, for this day, we're going back 40 years to 1980. Ooh, it's kind of warm out here. It's time to take this jacket off, too. All right, so, 1980, debut album of Joan Jett comes out. Before we go, go over Joan Jett, who was Joan Jett? In The Runaways, right? She's in the band The Runaways. In the mid to late 70s, The Runaways are a decent success in the United States, an all-female teenage heavy rock punk band uh they do pretty good they have a few albums they get some traction in the united states they open up for van halen talking heads cheap trick it seems like everyone opened up for cheap trick uh and tom petty and the heartbreakers they go overseas to japan and they land and they're like the number four like most popular american band in all of japan behind like led zeppelin and bands like that so they get this huge reception that they were not anticipating and they were, remained huge in japan so they are actually one of the few bands that can walk around and say hey we're big in japan <clears throat> who were in the runaways everyone remember i mean there's other than joan jett people probably remember one of the names but uh, the, the runaways included uh mickey Steele, who if you remember went on to be in the bangles uh, Jackie Fox went on to become a lawyer. Uh, Vicky Blue became a film TV producer and also made a documentary about the Runaways. And then there's Lita Ford. Lita Ford was in the Runaways. She, when they, this band breaks up, they all go their separate ways. Lita Ford manages to get uh, Sharon Osbourne, who's not Sharon Osbourne at the time, to be her manager. Um, that's how the connection with her and Ozzy is. Lita Ford obviously has a huge solo career later. And of course, Joan Jett. So Joan Jett's floating around trying to uh, peddle her, her demo. And she's getting turned down, turned down, turned down by dozens of labels. So what does she do? She starts her own label. She's actually one of the first female artists to ever start their own label. And they put out this debut record just called Joan Jett. And they're selling it at concerts and just out of the trunk of their car to record stores. And it does start picking up as far as popularity. It starts selling. So actually, even though it was released today in 1980 on her label, it sold enough that she signed a contract and it was re-released the next year in 81 on a formal record label. And they renamed it Bad Reputation as the album. And then, as you know... Uh, it was history from there because she forms the Black Hearts after that, and they have a huge successful career. Um, as far as Joan Jett and the Black Hearts, we'll probably address them another time, obviously. But for me, 1988's album Up Your Alley was just huge. We played that thing front to back. Some great songs on there, ones that you didn't even hear on the radio. Some uh, great stuff there. So, what are we going with for song of the day? Well, we have to go with Bad Reputation. I mean, I had forgotten about that song. And then, for those of you with kids, or maybe even without kids, if you saw the movie Shrek, they brilliantly put that song in there during one of the fight scenes. And immediately I was like, I totally forgot about this song. This is a great song. So, that's your song of the day. It's Octane Friday, so you can turn it up. It's a great song. We're going with Joan Jett. Solo, not with the Black Hearts, with bad reputation. Turn it to 11. Enjoy your Friday. We'll see you on the flip side.